Today's video, we're going to take a look at the end game exploit for the original Xbox. Um, I have a non modded system sitting here in front of me, and I figure what a better time to uh, do a video on it uh, than with this Xbox. So, the only two things you're going to need for this new exploit is a Xbox to USB adapter and a compatible flash drive. So, once you have your USB cable and your flash drive, let's go ahead and plug it in. I will link a uh, list of known compatible flash drives in the description. So, plug it in. We're going to go to memory. It's not showing up. Give it a second here. There it is. All right, so once that's done, back button, take it out, plug it into your PC, get the latest version of Fat Explorer. Now it wants us to format, we don't wanna do that. Open up Fat Explorer, devices, All right, so there is our Xbox memory unit. Click on it, load device, mount data partition on X. So now we basically have Windows access. We can drag and drop. Get your end game exploit, drag and drop that over. Unplug it from your PC, plug it back into your Xbox. Now once it's plugged in, go to memory, now it should sit on the screen for a few seconds up to possibly a minute. You should see your um, LED ring around the eject button going kind of crazy right now. And if this takes more than a minute. Um, restart your Xbox occasionally you know it'll just hang up and then it should have kicked over by now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and restart the Xbox Go back up to memory. I'm going to back out. For whatever reason, this USB port on my modded controller just isn't uh, working like it used to. There goes the ring around the eject button. For whatever reason, it's showing up on my computer screen here, but it's not actually showing on the TV. So you can press A to run installer. So, you can go ahead and press A again after you've read that. Now, I'm not one for really doing soft mods. I prefer um, putting mod chips in. But, uh, I figure I would do a video on this because this hard drive is going to get tossed out for a 2 terabyte. So, I uh, figure we do a video over it just to kind of show how it's done because this is definitely the easiest way
before it was finding a exploitable exploitable game getting all your settings on there using Explorer 360 to inject files click I understand I understand <clears throat> yeah it's definitely it's you know the easiest way to do it these days hands down Now make sure if you're going to keep this soft modded, once you have access to File Explorer, get that EEPROM file, put it on your computer. Put it somewhere safe, somewhere where you're going to be able to access it if your hard drive quits. Um, that way you can rebuild your hard drive if you're not going to do a hard mod in the future. There we go. Everything's on here. <clears throat> There's your file explorer. So go in, grab your EEPROM file, get it backed up. Um, yeah, doesn't get any easier than that. So with that said, we are going to go ahead. It's the end of the video. It's all I wanted to do was show uh, the easiest way to soft mod your Xbox. And this is by far it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.